slowly, although I hit it about 10 times, so we'll see if it <laughs> turns it off. Maybe. I turned the video off this time, so at least we're... Uh, oh, that's nice. Yeah. So they so they, a nice, like, upshot. You don't see the sun beating down through. So welcome, everyone, both online. Uh, check morning. us out on YouTube and everyone on site. We have a good, great group today. We're in Hudson's uh, today, which uh, we have the unfortunate opportunity of hosting a memorial this morning uh, in Hawk's Nest. And so, un and really unfortunate in that it's the second one this week, um, but uh, we had to move to a different room this morning to accommodate that. But, but here we are, positive news, exciting Summit Tier Live. Let's kind of dive into the fun stuff we got going on for today. So uh, event review, sites here to Bainbridge. Yeah, I had Bunny's busy week this week. So on Wednesday, I took 13 members to Bainbridge Island. It was our second time going. We went last summer as well. We went to the Japanese American Exclusion Memorial, which is a very sombering but um, insightful experience to have. I highly suggest you go. It's all outdoors. It's maintained by the National Park Service, so it's impeccable landscaping, and it's just it's a beautiful experience to be able to have. Um, and then we went to Winslow mm -hmm. and had lunch. Um, I tried out a Mexican restaurant for the second time and had a second whoopsie on my meal, but it was good, so that was okay. It wasn't what I ordered. Good whoopsie, not that. Yeah, it was a good whoopsie, but uh, yeah, so that was funny. And then we ended our day at the Bladell Reserve, which is um, 150 acres. It used to be a private residence, um, and then it was then uh, gifted, so now it's maintained by Bainbridge and a society. Um, and it's a, a gorgeous place. Um, I get their emails. They always do a bunch of specialty things during the fall and winter months. So we might do something for that. Was there anything, were there people at the memorial? Was there a lot of stuff going on or not? It was just kind of. Yeah. When I got there, I had to, uh, whoopsie park in a handicap spot. So I actually did not leave my car. So that was a purposeful full yeah, whoopsie? Because there's nowhere else to park. So I stayed at my car the whole time so that I could move it in case somebody showed up who needed it. It was busy. Uh, but it was busy. There was, the parking lot was totally full. Granted, four of the cars were ours, but. Um, yeah, so they're a good, good turnout there. It was a survivor, good. she was giving a tour, and, and she said the demand for the tours is amazing. So she was seven years old when the, uh, you know, was at her home, so she was giving the first whole oh. opinion of that. So. Well, I was cool. also kind of wondering, because um, this weekend it is, uh, or, or the month of July, typically, summertime is kind of the festival, Japanese festivals for celebration of the dead. They call it uh, Bonodori, and uh, um, the there's a festival in Seattle, it's supposed to be this weekend, uh, which my family normally attends, but uh, they ended up, uh, it's moved to virtual again this year. Uh, but not due to the pandemic, due to the hatred that they've received lately. So um, they decided out of safety concerns that they were going to be a virtual version. So it's unfortunate because like three weeks leading up to it, I'm always getting the kids ramped up with like, we get them dressed up in their yukatas and kimonos and then we, you know, taiko drumming. And so they've been watching taiko drumming every night. And then we ended up having to go virtual tonight. So we'll, we'll watch it online, but uh, a little unfortunate there, but I'm glad that everything was Are good you there. some fun food or something? I found out this morning that I could have pre-ordered to pick up oh, that's festival cool food. Festival? Yeah, that's but cool. I missed the cutoff, so it was unfortunate. But, oh, well. One Day University? One Day University, we have four coming up this week, so this is just three of them. Um, I can't read this tiny screen right huh? here. <clears throat> Leonard Bernstein. Leonard Bernstein, an American musical icon. The Psychedelic Revolution, Can Hallucinogenic Drugs Transform Medicine? Whoa, who's tuning into that so one? So we're getting ready for Summer of Love. We should host that one here. Um, and then on the 21st, uh, the Undersea War, which is a World War I uh, lecture. And then we also just signed up for our August schedule. So those got posted last night as well. So those are all up. Uh, uh, the Undersea War, I know they just discovered a ship. Uh, military ship, like the deepest depths they were, like four miles down or something like that. <laughs> I wonder if they'll tie that into that. Kind of interesting. Um, August Fitness. We posted fitness last night. 
Um, so that August is available now. It is, says. Yep. So it is available. <laughs> I just assumed it was implied. With oh, the <laughs> yeah. This is normally our fitness uh, slide. That's why. Yeah. It's so that August way. schedule is posted. Um, we do have some trainers who will be taking vacations. So please note that not every normal class is there. So don't panic. Todd's going to be on the 20th. Um, there's some other team members taking some time off. We're working on getting subs for the classes. So the ones that do get subs will get posted once we have people, uh, another team member sign up to teach them. And then Roxanne is also adjusting her schedule, and she's going to be offering a water boxing class, which is interesting. That one is not posted yet because she and I are working out some final kind of description details. Um, but I'll make sure to tag that to an announcement block when it does go live. So a water boxing class, and then she's going to be offering um, boxing Pilates fusion, which will be boxing, a land Pilates class on Friday, fusion. which is also okay. not up yet because just like the other one, we're working on a, a description. So very exciting. Um, and speaking of Roxanne, she was our team member of the quarter. So Roxanne has been an incredible asset to this team. Um, I drew quite attached to her when I interviewed her. She just mm -hmm. has a very warm and welcoming just presence. essence about her and presence. She always greets people with a smile. She knows people's names. She's always giving feedback about classes and changing her classes to meet the members' needs, which mm -hmm. is what we're all here for. And so it's she's a great um example of what blue star is all about is she changes her classes to meet the needs of the members and when the pool was being maintained she turned her class times into land-based classes so that members still had options to exercise during those times but she's just fantastic team member i love having her as a teammate um and oh carmen's here hi carmen um she's a great teammate and a, a great great person for our members so Want to make sure we give her congratulations. So if you see her, tell her congrats. Tomorrow, Sunday, National Ice Cream Day. National Ice Cream Complimentary Day. event. Woo! Can't yep. go wrong with National Ice Cream Day. Yep, so I'll be tomorrow on Hawk's Nest Patio. Our concierge team will be handing out ice cream sandwiches. Uh, so feel free to come on down. They're available while supplies last. Last year, they were a very hot commodity. Um, so make sure you get here right around three, but our lovely concierge Cassandra will be here. Yep. Uh, she's newer to the team, so it's a great opportunity to get to know her as well. So she'll be out on Oxnest patio with her ice cream sandwiches. Culinary table. So, uh, we're in week three, which means prime rib time. So prime rib for the next couple weeks for culinary table. So we have that on Tuesday night buffets. And um, so we'll offer that. It's about uh, thirty-one ninety-five, I believe. Uh, make reservations either with the concierge or there's a link on uh, the posting on MTL uh, that'll take you directly to the reservation site. So those are both available. Worked out really well. We got the buffet in uh, the grand living room area. You know, prime rib. Usually we're doing about sixty-five to ninety people coming to that, which is really great. Um, barbecue that we just finished up uh, for the last couple weeks was really nice. A um, little bit smaller turnout, about 50, 35 to 50 with that. So a little bit smaller. So we need to make sure we get that attendance up so that we can keep doing uh, Tuesday night events. But uh, uh, we're excited to have prime rib. So and I just posted minutes ago the menu for August, which the first two are going to be endless possibilities. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. We then, haven't done that in a while. Yeah, and then followed by prime rib, because why not? Endless possibilities always. Uh, we used to do this pre-pandemic and uh, set up a, a nice action station where you get to kind of pick your pasta, pick your sauce, pick what toppings you want in your pasta. The cooks there are going to toss it for you, heat it up, toss it, cook it for you right in front of you. Uh, once you get the smell of the oil and the uh, garlic going in, in the oh, grand living room, it's always really nice. So um, got to love that. So we'll have possi endless possibilities in the uh, first two weeks of August. It's already August. And they will have gluten-free pasta available. They will. Yep. Yep, definitely. Could you consider that with stir-fry? That is – stir-fry is always on the table for me, Yes. Yes, which we did with the first one we started with, uh, 
Yeah, with the, the Thai. Thai one was like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just add in your proteins. Uh, so we have spot A. Yep. So Elise, who uh, used to be one of our concierge, she's fantastic. I adore Elise. She uh, works for a company. Well, she actually owns a company called Pure Ambrosia. And so we're excited to partner again with her. She's going to be doing facials on August 1st. So those are available for sign up on MTL. Um, it's a 55 minute experience. So a nice hour of time with Elise. I'm excited to have her back in the lodge. I don't usually work Mondays, but I might come back just to see her because I miss her. Yes, definitely. So it'll be fun. Lodge Fest. It's already that season. August. Yeah. Here we go. Great logo, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're at 85 last I checked. It's been posted for what, 48 hours? Yeah. That's it? Is, it? So, whoo, going uh, fast. Yep. So, Summer of Love, we will have live music playing hits from the 60s. We have a VW photo booth coming out. So, they drive a old school VW bus and then it opens the door and it's a photo booth. It's pretty cool. I've seen them at weddings before. So, I tracked them down. So I was like, this is like the perfect opportunity to get to work with them. So that'll be fun. Our culinary team has put together a great menu uh, with past appetizers, stations, what beverages available. So lots of fun things going on for that. Yeah, should be really good. Are the drugs provided? Do we bring your own? Oh, you got to bring your own, but uh... <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. that's why we're yeah, preempting it with the one day university. You can uh, partake however you choose to partake. Um, but yeah, should be should be a lot of fun. Um and then so make sure you bring out your tie dye, your bell bottoms, your peace beads, your uh I actually have some of my mom's uh, love beads from the seventies that she gifted to me, so I'm excited to wear those. Interesting. I don't think I have anything that fits this thing. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Uh, and then, uh, general manager update. So, uh, like I was kind of telling the group here on site earlier, it's been kind of a rough week for maintenance department as, uh, uh, we just had all of our HVAC systems, uh, maintained probably four weeks ago, five weeks ago. Uh, and then once the little bit of heat came through 80 degree heat, they all decided they didn't want to work anymore. So, uh, we're struggling with the air conditioning in the mantle air conditioning in two tides, air conditioning in uh, grand living room, all kind of um, decided, hey, we don't want to work anymore. So um, kind of working through that. It, it must be the units, there must be a younger younger gen there. Um, it, uh, so anyways, a little bit frustrating. Uh, poor Roberts had a, a really rough week with that. In addition to uh, our walk-in cooler, which we hold 75% of the products we use here at the club, uh, food products that we use here at the club uh, has been down uh, for an extended long period of time, which is why we have a wonderful refrigerator trailer on our uh, loading dock area. So uh, that'll still be out there probably till the last week of July, unfortunately, as we're waiting for parts to arrive. Uh, we also had some sprinkler heads break uh, this week. So we've had just shooting water in areas. We're basically Bellagio. Um, so if you want so, to look at it that way. <laughs> just one, though, really cool. in one area, in one, in a totally different area. But, yeah, so really unfortunate with the sprinkler system. Um, we had uh, the bathroom, uh, guest bathroom, for those that don't know. We had a uh, significant uh, pipe burst leak crack um probably three weeks ago right at the end of june there and so uh the remediation company just came in to tear everything out which was uh quite the project um so we remove the counters the cabinets the drywall everything in there so that'll be drying out for the next uh week or two and then uh start back in the uh, rebuilding phase luckily they didn't really damage anything when they took it out which is great so shouldn't be too bad in expense wise it'll just be uh some drywall and some paint and a little bit of tile we do have to buy some new tile but no no definitely not no. 
yeah, no, we, it, it's been, it was fine. Oh, so God. just a little, little damp still. So they'll just, uh, they got fans on there. It'll dry that puppy out uh, over the next little bit. So, I mean, the air conditioning's not working, so it's just heat in this building. So <laughs> shouldn't take too, too long to figure that out. So, uh, but anyway, it's really, really frustrating with that. Um, uh, one, A, I don't like the heat. So really not fun without any air conditioning, but really frustrating in that we just had the entire system gone through <laughs> five weeks ago with preventative maintenance um, and none of that was discovered or um, decided to go down then. So, uh, but anyways, moving forward through that, uh, we've got uh, um, finished up the last of the three emails from the GM, uh, which would be me. So uh we got through all kind of the survey comments and questions that we've had uh i've kind of tried to uh, communicate some of the responses that we have to those questions or comments uh and hopefully that some of that was informative i heard a lot of good comments from it i had some members yesterday stop me to to offer insight to it so i was really excited that uh, a lot of members uh, read that which is great uh the next stage we'll be releasing is our um, forums that we're going to offer. We're going to offer three different forums that, that the members can register for and volunteer their time for. Um, so one's going to be uh, about the facility um, and anything um, uh, about the facility. One's going to be about the Mantle restaurant and the other one's going to be about uh, events and activities and lifestyle. Uh, so we'll offer those. Those will be a two-week um, opportunities um, I think the email for those and registration will start on Tuesday is what I'm thinking. Um, so we'll have that coming up here in the, in the near future as well. So, uh, yes, Neil. The, the forums. Yeah. What are, what are they? Great question. So the forums are going to be a two week period in which we will meet with, with these groups, uh, twice. Uh, the first one will be to, uh, listen and hear everyone's comments and questions and concerns they have about a specific topic. And then the second week will be when uh, the group and the Blue Star team uh, collaborate to come up and develop either um, action plans that need to be uh, developed or more um, uh, clarification or response uh, that will then be released to the membership. And so it'll, uh, we won't probably get to everyone's topics or agendas, or I'm sure of it. Uh, we'll probably select, you know, uh, two to three that we'll focus in on um, and kind of go down that road. And so the idea is to really, as we listen to a lot of comments on the survey, a lot of it was misinformation. So it'll be an opportunity for members to say, well, I didn't, uh, you know, why can't we do this or whatever? And a lot of times we can say, well, we can do that. Just no one's really asked, or we've already been doing that for a year. You may not have noticed. Um, and so uh, help clarify a lot of those things. And sometimes it'll be, hey, we'd like to, you know, see the menu change, you know, four times a year. And we'll kind of come up with a game plan to what that looks like. So things like that will be, on the table as we kind of get through those forums. Yep. So the forums, will they be um, in-person? They'll be on site, yep, Thursdays, the 28th and the 4th is when they will be. Yep, they will be, uh, we've already got the date, meeting dates and all that booked out um, and reserved for the rooms. Um, and so we will, they, they will not be large groups. So depending on registration, uh, but there will probably be, you know, anywhere from eight to twenty, eight to ten, eight to twelve people uh, will partake in those. So, um, excuse me. Which is yeah, anyone that's a trilogy member will be able to apply for one of the forums. Yep, register for the forums. Yep, yep, yep. So they're just kind of a, a, a breakout group. And, you know, a committee to kind of get together and, and discuss one of the three topics. So, yep, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, it's a great communication opportunity. Uh, once again, you know, we're not going to fix everything and, and everyone's got their own personal um, ideas and, uh, and, and such. And so we're not going to be able to touch on every single person's, but um, it will be a great way to kind of collect all that information um, and use it as we continue to drive our plans every week. And so, 
Uh, but we do hope to have either some clarification or some transparency on why we do things or uh, even some action plans for the department uh, after that second week. So, Which will be made uh, through MTL and emails yep. to all of membership. Yep. So once kind of those are gone, all the information will get shared to everyone. Yep. Uh, I'm assuming you're letting everybody know that this is not a yeah, it's got to be constructive. And, and like, once again, it's not something that you come in with, uh, hey, this has to change. That's not the idea. That's not that's not the point. It won't be, we won't move forward if we have that type of mentality. It's got to be someone that wants to offer opinions and offer comments and suggestions. Uh, but as a collective group, we will kind of work on what are the top ones that we want to focus in on. So, yep, definitely, definitely. I will send out an email, I believe on Tuesday, uh, that you'll have a, a, a link that you can sign up on. And then uh, that'll be open for about uh, six days. It'll close on the Sunday. Uh, we'll contact members either on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, and we'll start the following Thursday. So it, it'll go pretty quick um, as uh we kind of booked for a lot of space. So we're, we're like, oh, we, let's try and find some days where we got like six hours to block out for all this. Uh, and there there wasn't a ton over the next couple months. So Cause we're real we, busy. We are busy. We are busy. So, it, but it, it'll be really good. It'll be, you know, a lot of just like, like we're doing right now, just taking questions and comments. And um, it was really kind of something that we, as, as we believe in the confidence from this meeting from the summit here live where members are saying, well, why are we open on Thursdays every, uh, uh, in the, um, uh, for events on Thursday nights. And, and when we offer the explanation, well, we want to make a commitment that the two tides will be in floor mode every Thursday evening. Uh, it made more sense to members that were like, oh, okay, there's a reason why we pick Thursdays as an event night. And so we want that type of clarification and transparency on the reasons why we make the, the adjustments that we do. They're not just randomly selected. There is a lot of uh, uh, planning and, and, and reasoning to why we do a lot of the things we do around here. So we think these forums will help kind of bridge the gap a little bit in that regard. So, so it should be good. Uh, and then uh, other things in the general manager update. Um, once again, we just we've got a really great team right now, and so everyone's firing all cylinders. Uh, you know, we've got private events every single day. It feels like offsite events a couple times a week. Um, bike club, uh, I like plug in bike club because I'm part of it and I run it. Uh, we've got a brunch ride tomorrow, which is really exciting. Uh, we're doing a picnic ride in a couple of weeks. Um, John, Wayne Trail. John Wayne Trail. We got an ice uh, uh, ice cream ride. Um, so a bunch of uh, fun stuff coming for Bike Club. Um, I know Dino and Chef James are working on a new menu. So uh, we meet every Thursday to kind of go through all the details. We're submitting our first draft of that menu to to Central Services uh, next Friday. So we are that close to having a uh, digital uh, version to, to get uh, um, an initial approval, if we will. Um, really exciting menu that Chef James is putting together. We're, we're, it's fresh and clean and, and perfect for the summer season. So it's gonna be really great. Uh, it'll be, we're hoping to be right around first week of August uh, for the new menu. And then it should run until first or mid October. Mm -hmm. And then we hopefully will have another menu then and then ride that menu out to the end of the year and have a new one starting in January. So we've, we do have a, uh, a plan to kind of get back on schedule as the current menu we have we've kind of been in this six month time frame, which is a little bit longer, a lot longer than we'd like to be. But uh, with kind of Dino moving out and Chef James moving in, it was hard to kind of go too much faster than that. But, uh, but yeah, no, really, really good, really exciting to be. Uh, the position that we're in and, uh, you know, it's good seeing all the members around and I love seeing the building full and active. Pickleball has been busy and uh, happy hour has been slamming and wine grapes and grub was so big this, this week. We put them in two tides, which worked out really well. Fitness classes have been awesome. So, and the restaurant continues to be really strong. So appreciate every member's support. It's, uh, it's going really well. So any other questions?
Riley. Not all of it. Which part? Line dancing? Um, yes. So Carol and I met, and she's going to be splitting up line dancing into two different sessions. So this week I've been training a team member on helping me load things into MTL, which is why it's been a little bit slower population. Um, and just some behind the scenes, what we're doing is she's loading it, and then it's inactive until I can check it. So that's part of why. Um, it's great in the long run. Yep, because it'll be awesome. Hand, yeah, more things that more people who know how to do MTL makes all of our lives easier. So um, my plan is to get it done when I get back from the fish hatchery, but if not today, then Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, so everything's getting loaded into MTL right now, which is the big question and the big wave. Fitness was loaded last night, and we had a bunch of members sign up in the I know, first like, I, five minutes. I always <laughs> we think were it's awesome. fun to see, like – because somebody will see it posted and then like they usually text all their friends. And so I'm always curious, like how quickly it's going to be within three minutes of fitness going live. There was already one person signed up yep. for a class, which meant that they were on MTL just by happenstance and saw fitness yep. posted. And there's still spots available because I checked this morning. So yep. okay. all right, good. I'm going to go. Any other questions? No. All right, everyone. Thank you all very much. Have a good weekend.